Hey everybody, Jason here from Short Course World. I've been meaning to create a series of videos called Cool Tool Reviews. It just seems like every once in a while I'll stumble across a really cool tool that helps make your life a lot easier in, in, when racing radio controlled cars. Today I want to just do a short video on ride height gauges. Traditionally, you have gauges like this. They kind of have an arm that sticks up and you have to read how high or low the, the chassis is going to, to ride based on little marks on the edge of the, the gauge. So the, the low C one basically has marks right here from, it looks like 10 to 50, and you just kind of set it and slide it and that's where it is. It doesn't really lock down or anything. Now the associated one, it does lock down. You loosen up this little thumb screw and then it slides up and down. And then the, you have to read through the translucent blue acrylic to see what the gauge is. Now as time goes by, you'll find that if this thing's in your toolbox and gets scuffed up, it gets harder and harder to read and the best way to do it is just to hold it up to a light. which can be a little cumbersome. So a few weeks back, while just browsing through A-Main's website, I found this. It's made by Gia, and it's literally, it's a, it's a billet aluminum ride height gauge that you don't have to read. You can just, it's, I guess you'd say it's kinesthetic, right? You can feel it. So it just clicks one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 30. So resting, it's at 20 millimeters, and all the way up, it's at 30. So this is a really handy gauge. And let's just say for my two-wheel buggy, you want to set it at 24. You just go one, two, three, four, set it down, and slide it underneath the buggy. Okay, this is my B4.2. As you can see, I'm going to take the ride height gauge right here, set it to 24. You see that it fits perfectly under there. There's no room for the, for the chassis to move. It's set perfectly. It's really just that simple. Now, if your hands are a little bit too thick to get under your buggy, or maybe you're using an on-road car, I've seen a couple of good ideas. Uh, one of the local guys, one of my buddies, took a zip tie, just wrapped a zip tie around it, and tightened it up, and so he just slides it in and out with a zip tie. I'd like to make a, I'm going to make a little piece of Lexan, just use a body reamer, and put a hole in it so there's a nice snug fit. But super cool tool. Hope you guys got a kick out of this. Okay, well, there you have it, the gear ride height gauge. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, or even better, comment on this video below. And I'll try to make some, some cool videos here coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.